गुड मॉर्निंग आई स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज माय स्क्वायर एग्रीगेट फंक्शन एंड योर लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस काउंट एज एन एग्रीगेट फंक्शन एंड दिस इज अ रिवीजन पार्ट ऑफ माय स्क्वायर वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड माय स्क्वायर ऑल टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू माय स्क्वायर इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड इन दिस रिवीजन पार्ट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दोज पार्ट ऑफ माय स्क्वायर व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट to our examination and uh, according to the revised syllabus now my scale aggregate functions are much more important than other other topics so we already discussed about a count function in our previous lecture and uh, in this lecture we will going to discuss about some function so first of all what is aggregate function aggregate function is a function where the values of multiple rows are grouped together to form a single summary values that's why they are called the aggregate because they aggregate or sum up the all value all values into a single one so second one is sum as the name suggest it actually add the different values and let us see its syntax first so my sql sum function the my sql sum function is used to return the total sum uh, summed values of an expression and it returns null if the result set does not have any rows it is one of the kinds of aggregate function in the mysql so there are two important things first of all it sum all the values in the expression second important thing if no set is selected or uh, you are not, uh, you don't select any row then it will give you a, give you a null value and it will not give an error it actually returns a null value to you and that is the syntax a is in a scheme marked with a red pen here this is select sum so first of all use the keyword sum so all aggregate functions we can use with select statement so just write select and then name of the function and uh, after there is a sign of parenthesis which is an indication that it is a function and here the aggregate function aggregate expression we write here aggregate expression on the behalf of that we want to find out the sum and uh, then keyword from and then the table's name there may be more than one tables also and uh, after that if required then we just write condition with where clause so this is the overall uh, syntax of sum expression main important thing is that when you write sum function then just write select select and then may there may be more than one column but if you want to find out the sum then one well one column name must be a sum and uh, value pass within the parenthesis or is a aggregate expression then from table's name and where condition if the condi if the condition is there if any condition is there next is a parameter explained of my sql function so there is a detailed explanation of uh, different parameters i already explained all of these aggregate expression it is it specifies the columns or expression that we are going to calculate the sum next is table name it specifies the table from where we want to retrieve records and there must be at least one table at least one table remember that there may be more than one table listed in the from clause and third is where clause it is optional as i told you earlier and it specifies the condition that must be fulfilled for the records to be selected these are the some parameters of uh, some function let us see its syntax again just write select first of all and then after sum and then in parenthesis aggregate function after that from and then after table or table's name there may be more than one table and if there is a condition related to related to that uh, sum then this condition must be specified with their clause so that is the syntax of sum function and sum function what sum function actually calculate the sum of the given values now there is a table 
and uh, the table name is employee here you can easily see that table name is employee and uh, name of the attributes are employee id employee name occupation working hours and working date these are the column names here and as we can see that these are the records of a table in which uh, there are different employees names are here joseph steven mark peter joseph and uh, some of values are repeated in this as well and then the occupation is business doctor engineer teacher business doctor teacher engineer business teacher so that there is a repetition of occupation also and then working date working date as you see that and default format uh, 20 year first then month and then after date so this is in format and uh, working data 2020 4 10 and uh, there is a repetition value also in working date and then working hours working hours are 10 15 12 9 10 15 9 12 10 and 9 so there are repetition of values again in the working hours so we can conclude it as a it is an this is an table name employee first of all table name is employee and it actually returns the employee it actually shows the information of a employee in an organization such as employee id employee name it's uh, their occupation their working date and their working hours and uh, regarding to that there are so many number of duplication uh, duplication of data in this table in com in terms of employee id employee name in occupation working date and working hours so um, if you want to create this table first of all use create table syntax and after that um, if you want to put the data into this table then insert into commands so these are the basic commands uh, which already discussed in our previous lecture and uh, it is also a part of our revision too so now uh, first basic example the simplest use of some function here execute the following query that calculate the total number of that the total number of, now a question asks in such a way in our examination that there is already a table given to you and you have to ask that calculate the total number of working hours of the employee of the table and for this you have to write a query in my sql so first of all at prompt you can write select and then sum and then working hours because you want to calculate the total number of working hours as given in question this is the question total number of working hours total number of working hours so total number of working hours for um, to calculate total there is a name a function called sum so sum is used and uh, we want to uh, calculate the sum of working hours so working hours is passed as a parameter within the sum function and after that it is not a compulsory part but uh, if you want to provide it um, it has an alternative name to this column some working hours then just write as and then total working hours and uh, what happens when you write as total working hours is that the output is in the forms where column name is appears as total working hours not some working hours if you don't write it as total working hours then the column name is some working hours as it is as mentioned in this uh, uh, query so it is a good practice to write as to give a alternative name to a column and uh, then after or it may be asking the examination that uh, gave an alternative name to the particular column especially as is given where function is used so whenever a function is used uh, we give an alternative name to it uh, which uh, provide better look and feel so here as is used as a keyword and total working hours provides an alternative name to some working hours and then as we know that the table name is employee so just write from employee and uh, this is a basic example no condition is given regarding to that so we just write some function uh, and just mention the table name so as the question as the the condition asked in the question that execute the following query that calculate the total number of working hours of the all employees in the table 
and after the execution of that statement actually what we want to calculate here that we want to calculate here here the total number of working hours this is the total number of working hours of all employees so whatever is the total may be appear here let us see what happens so as you can see that the first of all total number of working hours uh, as a column name and why it is a column name here because we use as total working hours and then from employee employees obviously a table name and uh, here we calculate sum of working hours so whatever you the working hours so there may be a sum of it and we can calculate it using a sum function so here we use sum function and uh, um, you can easily see that total number of working hours 111 so this is a sum of total number of working hours so this is the simplest example or we can say that basic example of a sum function so when whenever you want to calculate a total number or uh, addition of a particular detail of a particular column then you can use sum function next uh, uh, our second example where clause if what happens if there are condition given with um, some function or some ag aggregate functions then it is uh, very simple and all of you are aware of the where clause and if there is a condition specified with a row then you can you can use this condition you can write this condition with where clause and rest part is same as that of the previous and you can see here this is the same as the previous one and in this part we have to calculate the total working hours but there is a condition added and condition is working hour must be greater than or equal to 12 so that is a condition so always remember that condition is always attached with the where clause so rest thing is same as the previous one so all the all the parameters are same all the conditions are same formula is same and uh, we have already given an alternative name in this as a total working hours which is same as it of the previous one and a table name is employee but the, uh, but the only difference is the condition and the condition is working hours must be greater than equal to 10 so let us see the original table first here we can see that uh, working hours less than greater so we have to calculate the sum of only those uh, working hours uh, which are greater than or equal to 12 so i think uh, first one is rejected because uh, it is a 10 and 10 is less than 12 then second then third uh, of course fourth is not fifth is also not considered then 15 is considered 9 is not considered 12 is considered 10 and 9 is not considered so here you can easily see that we have to make a sum of 15 12 and then 15 and 10 15 and sorry 15 and 12 10 is not considered at all and the sum is 54 let us check it 15 15 30 12 and 12 24 30 plus 24 54 and rest all values are less than 12 so are not considered these are not considered at all so total number will be 24 according to that condition so here select some working hours as total working hours and from employee where working is less than is greater than or equal to 12 so this is the condition and uh, where clause is used to define the condition here rest thing are same as that of previous one so only a little bit change as compared to the previous one and that is your answer and that is the query type on your in mysql and it gives you a result in 0.00 second very fast okay next is mysql sum function with group by clause now it is very important because in your slavers group by function group by clause is especially mentioned and uh, since it is mentioned separately then it is definite then question will be asked from group by clause and it may be possible that uh, different or particular um, 
particular aggregate function with, may be used with group by clause. So group by clause, as we know that um, most of the cases aggregate, aggregate functions are used. So you have a good practice on a group by clause with different aggregate functions. In our previous lecture, we already uh, discussed a group by clause with the count function. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about some function with group by clause. So uh, as you know that the group by function basically a group the records of the similar type and uh, here concept is very simple we use the keyword group by to group the uh, group all the records of same type and uh, rest all things are same as that of the previous one so here let us see what is the query in this case statement calculate the total working hour for or for each employee remember that total working hour of each employee by using the sum function with the group by clause as shown in the following query so group by we have to make a group on the basis of occupation let us see the original data first occupation occupation are business doctor engineer teacher these are four occupation so we have to make a group according to these four occupation and uh, calculate according to that total number of working hours total number of working hours for business total working hours for doctor total number of business hours for engineer and total number of working hours for teacher according to that uh, let us check it okay yes this is select employee id employee name these are the columns if you want to select all these columns just put star sign here and uh, here we have to cal calculate the sum so just write sum working hours as a column name and um, with some working hours four different three different columns names are also a part of your answer that is employee id employee name and occupation and some working hours and then just write as a total working hours so it will become the alternative name of it will give him a second name of working hours so answer will be appears as in total working hours in place of some working hours and then from employee and then group by occupation so group by occupation let us see its output again i think now it is clear to all of you employee is the name of the table and uh, here we make group on the basis of occupation let us check it this is the answer this is the answer there are business doctor engineer and teacher and on the behalf of that total number of working hours will be calculated here you can see it if you don't write these columns names then it will also not affect of your output because here we want to make a group on the basis of just occupation and according to that occupation we have to calculate sum of working hours so these fields are not very much required employee id and employee name because if you put these fields then there is some information missing also regarding to that so just try it for this purpose you have to write just select and then occupation and some working hours as total working hours from employee and then group by employee group by occupation so always try to put a column name on the basis of which a group is formed and then the formula or the or the aggregate function which calculate which calculator uh, as per the question's requirement whatever it may be the sum or count or min or max or average so these two fields are required so if you select other fields with this then uh, there may be information lost regarding to that field as you can see here because uh, here you can see that employee id is one and employee name is joseph so let us see that 
बिजनेस मेन क्वेरी ब्रैड इज वन जोसेफ एंड फॉर बिजनेस एंड यू कैन सी दैट ओके वन बिजनेस जोसेफ इज ऑल्सो देर एंड एनी थिंग अवर बिजनेस ओके वन जोसेफ ऑफ बिजनेस इज ऑल्सो देर सो जोसेफ इज जोसेफ इज फॉर जोसेफ वन जोसेफ इज सेम फॉर द बिजनेस ऑक्यूपेशन बट इट मे बी डिफर दैन there may be a certain problem or information missing but in this case there is no such type of missing information so let us see again that is output now i think it is clear to all of you so here one thing is very important just write the name of the column on on the basis of you make a group and then the function and the name of the function which you want to uh, which you want to perform here so these are the two important fields next is uh, some function with having clause now this is similar to that at the previous one the only difference is that when we have a condition on our group remember that condition on group not a normal condition here yeah, uh, if, if we want to put a normal condition then we can use where clause but if there is a condition on group condition on group then we can use we only use having clause so having is used only with group by clause first thing second thing if there is a condition on a group then we always mention this condition with having clause so there are two important things here now you can see is uh, you can easily see here the condition is we want to make a group only when working hours greater than equal to 24 so sum of working hours greater than equal to 24 that is the condition sum of working hours greater than 24 so always remember that if there is a condition now uh, another important thing is if you want to um, select a record and uh, there is a general condition then uh, this condition is mentioned after just from here and then uh, group by of course and then the condition regarding to group by is always mentioned after the group by clause and if uh, we want to select i want to uh, i want to make a data account to ascending order and descending order then put order by clause after the having clause so these are the three important things and these are already discussed in our previous lecture so always remember that so here you can see that this is a condition related to the having clause and i told you that uh, if uh, you want to um there is a general condition then just put it after the from employees and if the condition related to a group clause group by clause then uh, it must be given just after that of the group by clause and if you want to select the data according to the um, ascending or descending order then just put order by clause just after just after order by clause just after the having clause so this is the highest level of or the most difficult level of the question when there is a general condition when there is a, we want to make a group here and uh, uh, there is a condition related to the group and we have to put the data according to ascending and descending order or all these are in a part of a single question then just first of all focus the aggregate function then uh, the condition on behalf of that group will be formed and after that the condition related to that group and uh, uh, it must be mentioned with the having clause and if there is a general condition then it always given after just uh, from uh, table name and then at last uh, if you want to put data in ascending and descending order uh, just write uh, order by clause at uh, at last so the having clause is used to filter the group with the sum function in mysql and uh, this is the simplest example this is the example of group by with having clause with aggregate function sum you can see that select is a name of uh, 
keyword by which we can select our different columns here employee id employee name are the name of the columns here occupation is again a column name now here some working hours and uh, some working hours the name of the some is a function and working hours the name of the column here and as and total working hours uh, is the alternative name provided by us in place of some working hours and you can put it as as and within double quotes and without as you can also put it after the space and just double quotes here then it will also work as a column name then from employee and then group by occupation from employee means table name table name is employee and then group by occupation we make group on the basis of column name occupation here and then there is the condition having some working hours greater than equal to 24 so it will take only the data whose working hours is greater than 24 in a group so just in previous cases uh, 30 30 and 27 these are the three records which we found here and uh, in this case in this case yes okay these are the data 30 30 24 and 27 these are the four records which you found here but after putting the having some working hours greater than 24 this row row number third will not be a part of your answer so let us check its answer this is the answer you can see here only three rows are selected and this is the very you can see me on the screen now i think concept is very much clear to all of you how to use having clause with group by clause with aggregate function my last topic is distinct class and the mysql use distinct keyword to remove the duplicate rows and if you want to remove the duplicate rows we use distinct clause here and this clause can also be used by some function to return the total summed value of unique number of records present in the table we can easily see that there is a duplication of data but if we want to unique number of records then we can use distinct keyword so we have we have, we have to write distinct clause within some function here and before column name within parenthesis rest thing is same as that of that i mentioned in previous question and uh, group by occupation condition is also given i think okay let us see condition is given or may not be given it depends on the question so if given just write it after the group by group by clause if not given question is over here so distinct clause basically remove duplicate rows rest all things are same as that mentioned in previous question now let us see the output again so you can see here so duplicate rows are removed here and it actually some the records here and the sum is little bit different as it of previous one in previous example sum is 30 because uh, joseph i think appeared three times let us see original the database joseph joseph appear here three times joseph and then joseph business and then joseph business three times so it remove duplicate rows and uh, see and uh, put answer only a single time here on the screen as you can see here so this is a use of distinct class now i hope uh, the concept of some aggregate function is now clear to all of you so apply this on your computer system using mysql and uh, first of all make a table insert the data into that table make some duplicate record and uh, then apply all these aspects of 
some aggregate function using with group by clause using with the having clause and using with the distinct clause etc so thanks for watching this video